This is not just a celebration of life. A child of God has gone to be with the Lord, and Christians here are rejoicing. This service of songs is in honor of late Reverend Dr. Charles Bolinayo Sweke, the second General Superintendent of Assemblies of God, Nigeria. Jesus will sing and shout the victory. There'll be no more crying when Jesus comes. To gather his loved ones, oh, I shall wear a golden crown when I get home. I shall sing of saving grace when I get home. Glad in robes of glory, I shall stand before him. I want to be with him when I get home. They were Bible readings. Revelation chapter number 21, verse number 1 through verse 7. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Reverend Dr. Godwin Amao, the General Secretary of Assemblies of God, Nigeria, encouraged all to live and die righteously. Nothing we brought into this world, and when we are part of it, we shall never go out with anything. If you have education and you are educated, use it for the purpose of God. If you are rich, use it for the purpose of God. Don't acquire wealth in the wrong way. Don't acquire anything in the wrong way. Do it in the name of the Lord, to the God of the Lord, knowing that one day you leave all this thing behind. Ours will not be to merely wish that we will die the death of the righteous. Ours will be to make it real. This is Umwa Mumumberi in Imbi Tolu local government area of Imo State. This is late Reverend Dr. Sueke's compound. Reverend Pastor G.K. May Jim is the fifth general superintendent of Assemblies of God, Nigeria. He is here with some members of the executive committee of the church to receive the body of a quintessential man of God. Reverend Mrs. Blessing Osweke believes that her husband is in heaven and so she's full of thanks to God.
praise the Lord. We thank you for giving this body of your servant safely to this home. Charles Usweke gave his life to Christ at the age of 18. He felt the call of God upon his life into full-time pastoral work. Two years after, he enrolled into the Central Bible Institute, now known as Assemblies of God Divinity School of Nigeria. He was a minister of the gospel for 48 years. He spent 22 of those years serving as the General Superintendent of Assemblies of God Nigeria. During this period of 22 years, he contributed immensely to the spiritual life of Assemblies of God and was involved with coming up with a lot of first-time innovations to the Assemblies of God family. For instance, we had a decade of harvest, souls were wanted the Lord, countless number of churches were planted all over the place. This man is responsible for what we have today as AG Mortgage Bank. It came up as AG Homes. We have the Evangel Camp in Ebony State, the Evangel Television. We have our national headquarters at Enugu, Evermai, a special school for the handicapped. So many other things that the Lord passed through him to bless Assemblies of God with. Papo Sueke, as he was fondly called, had a ministry devoid of scandal and controversy. Great men of God within and outside Nigeria have good memories of him. I served under him for about 20 years. Within those 20 years in the executive committee, I discovered the all ramification that he loves God. From the very time he left office until now, and until the time he passed on, Baba remained the stabilizer of the system of Assemblies of God Nigeria. A number of our senior ministers in Ghana remember Dr. Osueke for his powerful and practical messages when he became the guest speaker in one of our general council meetings. Even today, when you mention his name, many pastors can tell you some of the messages he preached in those days. The baby church of Cameroon was inaugurated by Reverend Charles Osweke before his retirement. Brother Osweke and I traveled together in Niger before the country was open to the Assemblies of God. He was the Evangelism and Missions Director at that time before he was elected to be General Superintendent. I stand here representing over 50 evangelical churches in Nigeria and over 150 mission agencies. All of these organizations send their regards. Baba was able to reach out to those who are conservatives, those who are liberal, yes. and he kept the focus in focus, how do we reach the unreached people oh, group? God. Start to finish, the award of ambassadors of the kingdom as a way of recognizing and honoring deserving laity, members of the Assemblies of God in Nigeria who have made significant contributions to the growth, development, and progress of the church by the National Church, um, the General Council, what he brain child, the now late Reverend Dr. Charles. Even in February this year, while we were in the Biennial Conference of Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria in Enugu, he was there alive. He played the role of a father. The numerous works Papa did, we see the achievements. Yes. They are numerous. We are happy. He walked among us. He was a detravelizer minister. And today we are gathered here and on behalf of Khan and on behalf of Prince Center Church International, I want to say great general, good night. I've known him in the 70s at Onisha, always visiting the scripture union over there. And I've also known him in deeper life when he comes around and ministers to us. The general superintendents, the ministers and members express our sincere condolence to you. 
I was called this morning by Reverend Dr. Omobai to come and represent him. He believed that he is supposed to be here. So I will tell him what happened. So please accept his absence in the name of Jesus. Dr. Sweke has been a pillar of Christianity yes. in Nigeria and um, a major team player in the family of PFM. Late Reverend Dr. Charles and Reverend Mrs. Blessing Osweke were married for 54 years. The Lord do so much uh, and he showed the love in several ways. He gave me names. He called me Chine. Darling, Nke, my wife, sister, Wengam, Nne. He softens my heart each time he does that. He never regarded my shortcomings. The couple waited for 11 years before their three children, Chioma, Charles Jr. and Adim Chino became. He was the best in everything he, he set his heart to. He was the best father, he was the best husband, he was, he was the best in every role he ever played. He was someone who didn't have any airs that could repel people. Waking up with him every other day, every day actually, um, going to morning devotions and before bed, night devotions. Um, it was a whole different picture. We didn't see the able general that many of us know on the pulpit. We more so saw a father, a friend, someone we joked with, someone we laughed with, someone that would, would be friends with each and every one of us, someone that would call us to calm, call us just to, to chill, to make jokes, very humble, very... I, I, he was just... It, it's all to say, but he was a very regular man. Chioma's husband says it's a privilege being a son-in-law. He's the best father-in-law anyone can think of having. Actually, I'm not crying because he's dead, but because I'm going to miss him, his humor, his wisdom, and his spirituality. His grandchildren call him the best grandpa. My grandpa is the best granddad in the world. He's so sweet, caring, he cares for everyone. He's also a kind, like, he likes to crack jokes all the time. He loves me. He buys this. He plays with me. He allows me to climb on his back. He buys biscuits for me. He buys juice for me. He buys chocolate for me. Late Reverend Dr. Sweke had enormous responsibilities as the number one man in Assemblies of God, Nigeria. Yet, he kept tabs with happenings in his village. He loved his home church. The cathedral standing out there in this community is courtesy of Papa Charles Sweke. He built that very church single-handedly. His relatives fondly called him De Charlie. He never misused, abused, found, but accounted for every couple. He told me cheat, cheat, learn to give forgiveness in advance. He was an icon, a legend. A church father, in fact, his epitome of humility. He had numerous spiritual children. When the father will be going on, daddy will preach a very powerful message. I will be hearing him shout, Glory! Everybody! Glory! He has been a wonderful mentor, a spiritual father, a, a loving father indeed. On the 5th of May 2021, God called him home whilst on his knees praying. Well, this was the moment he prepared all his life for. It was the best day of his life. Of course, we will definitely miss him. I will miss him every day of my life, but I'm happy for him. In his sermon, today's number one man in Assemblies of God, Nigeria, enjoined sinners to accept Jesus into their lives now. Adultery first, fornication second, uncleanness third, lewdness fourth, all have to do with immorality and impurity. Idolatry. If, if we are in sorcery, 
Imafa witchcraft. Imafa witchcraft. Belonging to cults. Belonging to secret societies. There are all types of wicked cults in the world today. And it will be impossible to say that there's not one cultist in this place. That would be impossible. Oh, you are here today. You know, never talk. And we are talking about Babo Sweke. I never come about Babo Sweke. And you heard all the testimony. You know, like we call the teacher, but I'm. You have been here rejoicing and laughing. You should not be laughing. You are going to hell. People going to hell should not laugh. We pray that your grace. The family was well, prayed for. Their lives. May you be with them. May you comfort them. In the name of Jesus Christ. At 79, Reverend Dr. Charles Usweke be the church, family and friends, goodbye. He left enduring legacies.